Hey there, welcome back to the channel. We are back with another weekly wares video. And if this is your first time finding my channel, my name is Gerard and on this channel, we talk about all things fragrances. We do videos like I'm doing today, which is just going over every single fragrance that I wore all seven days last week. So if that's content that you think you wanna see more of, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and turn on bell notifications so you are updated whenever I upload something new. But without further ado, let's jump right into the list starting with Sunday. So again, if this is your first time finding this channel, one of the things that I like to do on this channel is go to different rack stores, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Burlington, and see what I can find, hidden gems, inexpensive fragrances that smell fantastic. This first one that we're gonna be talking about, I actually found at a Burlington and I really ended up liking it, I like it quite a bit. So much so that I wanted to give a bottle away. So if you guys have not entered that contest, you have until the end of this week, you have until Friday to enter the contest. I'm giving away a bottle of this and another bottle to two lucky subscribers. I will be sure to link that video here so you can go enter after this video is done. But Santa I'm talking about is Mercedes-Benz EDT. This one really surprised me. I'm a fan of the Mercedes-Benz house that pretty much every fragrance I've tried from that house, I really enjoy. This one was no exception. One of you guys pretty cleverly brought up the fact that this smells like something along the lines of a Nautica Voyage. I can kind of see it. I absolutely can see it. I would say that it is reminiscent of Nautica Voyage, that same sort of cedar musk, slight fruitiness that you get from that fragrance with that aquatic nature, but this adds a vile leaf in there that just amps it up a notch, really makes this nice, smells sophisticated. I picture a guy, you know, dressed up, office safe, he could wear this to school. This is a pretty versatile fragrance year-round scent. I mean, you can't really go wrong with this. It reminds me quite a bit of Dior's Fahrenheit, which I also love that fragrance, but it's not as petrol smelling as that. It's not as gasoline uh, smelling as that scent is. Overall, for what I paid for this, I think this one's an absolute steal. This is, I wanna say this is 120 ml, and I got it for, well, I have the box right here, let's see. 26.99, so. Great deal, especially for the scent. This lasted all day on me. I get good performance, projects nicely for the first hour, hour and a half or so. You're getting a great scent here. It's a little bit spicy, aquatic, fresh. It checks all the boxes here. Masculine, incredible scent for the money. Definitely give this one a try. Mercedes-Benz EDT. On Monday, I reached for a scent in my collection that is by one of my favorite perfumers, Rodrigo Flores Rue. He does a lot of the John Barbados fragrances, at least the older John Barbados fragrances like Vintage, The OG, Addison Pure, just to name a few. One of my favorite perfumers. I think he does a fantastic job on a budget. He makes a fantastic scent with little money behind it. However, this next one is not a cheap fragrance. Um, you can get it on Twisted Lily and I have a discount code for them, 10%. I will link it down below, but this scent, is awesome. Scent I'm talking about is Inconfessible from Will Germain. This is aromatic, fresh and spicy, really luxurious smelling. This isn't a cheap fragrance, but it has this sort of uh, just classy, sophisticated essence to it. Uh, it's super smooth, but the spice in here, black pepper, when you first spray this on, there's nutmeg, I love the spice in here. Really nice atomizer, uh, classy bottle. I mean, this thing, wow, just in the air. It is so damn good. Has this little bit of sweetness to it. It's resinous. It's a little bit ambery. Uh, and again, that smooth richness to it. This is a year round scent, but I think it's really ideal for this time of year, the fall season weather's cooling off, leaves are falling. This is kind of the mood this uh, scent puts me in, reminds me of the fall and just sort of all the things that come along with it. This is an eau de parfum concentration. This is not a massive projector. It's gonna sit closer to the skin after an hour or so, but it lasts a good amount of time on me, especially when I spray it on clothes. This is also one that I'm not afraid to spray a bit heavier on the days that I wear it. And I don't know, it just, it's good stuff. And I find myself wanting to reach for this one more often than not from time to time. I'll just give it a spray in the air 
and uh, smell it that way. But nice scent overall, inconfessible from Will Jermaine. Speaking of rack store pickups, this was my last rack store pickup. So if you guys have not watched that video, I will link it here. Scent I am talking about is Aqua Porom Marine from Bulgari. Now, as I said in that video, sometimes these really authentic salty aquatics don't always work on my skin. They come off a little bit foul, really musk heavy, little bit just off putting. This one does it for maybe 10, 15 minutes or so after I spray it on skin, but then it gets better. Great atomizers on these as well. Bulgari Amare is one that I really enjoy. And this stuff in the air is so good. On strip, it's so good. And on my clothes, it's so good. When I put it on skin, something changes. I don't know what it is. A lot of people have this problem with fragrances like this. Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue O Intense does not work on me at all. And it's the sort of the same vibe that I get from this in the first 15 minutes, but less so. It's far worse in that scent than this one. And then this one gets really nice. For me though, I have better authentic aquatics that I would prefer over this one. And again, I'm also one that doesn't like to wait for something to get good. If I put something on skin and it just, I wouldn't wear it if it was like that through the its entirety, I'm usually just turned off to the scent and I'll just move on to something else. So overall, would I repurchase this one for myself? Probably not. But if you are into salty, authentic ocean aquatics, like the Dolce & Gabbana that I mentioned, this one is one that you might want to look at, and I get a good amount of longevity from this as well. I, like I said, overall, I like the scent profile. It just, it just does not work that great on my skin. Aqua Poirot Marine from Bulgari. This next one, my wife absolutely loves, and my daughter too, because she likes the bottle. Scent I'm talking about is Moschino's Toy Boy. Now you want to talk about a polarizing scent. This, this is it. This is a designer fragrance that is niche level. Fantastic atomizer on here as well. The reason I say niche level is because of how interesting this is. It, it's polarizing. It is very floral, but still somehow being masculine at the same time. I like to describe this as a watery rose with some spice, with some, I believe there's not Megan here, and a pear note. That pear note, it's not sweet. It's it's very, it's fruity, but it's tart. Not what most people are used to because it just doesn't start off sweet. It Heavy florals again, especially on skin, I get a lot of florals, but I don't know. It's just something about this one that's really addictive for me. When I first sprayed it on, I wasn't crazy about it because it is so different. So if you hear people talk about this one, I suggest trying it first. You might not like it, you might love it. That's, I mean, literally, it's that polarizing. Performance is an absolute monster on me. I get fantastic projection from this. Longevity lasts forever on clothes. You do not have to worry about performance when it comes to this. It's a very springtime forward scent. I think springtime when I wear this, but again, it works in the fall as well. That sort of transition from summer to fall. This is one of the ones that I tend to reach for, just, just like when I'm going from winter to spring. Same idea. Has those green elements, the, the florals, the musk, a little bit of fruity pear up top, the woodiness. I love this one, and I definitely will probably always have it in the collection. I would like to try Moschino Toy Boy too. Have not tried that yet. Let me know in the comments if that one is any good. But great scent overall, Moschino's Toy Boy. Now this next one is an absolute sleeper in my opinion. Could be signature scent worthy. One of the best in the line of a fragrance line that is legendary at this point. Gets a ton of love from the community, other YouTubers, but this one is talked about quite less than those ones. Scent I am talking about is Givenchy Gentleman EDT. Now this stuff, so addictive. It has the perfect mix of iris in here. And that's sort of an underlying theme to this line is the use of iris. Wow, I think I might've just discovered a layering combo. I'm still smelling the toy boy in there and I just sprayed this and they're kind of combining into something really nice. I might have to try that. I don't do a lot of layering. That smell right now is kind of working for me. This stuff 
is perfect for the office. It's perfect for school. It's a great signature scent. And I actually got a compliment the day that I wore this. I dropped my daughter off at school and just like maybe 10 feet behind me was another parent. And I heard her say, wow, you smell great. Like kind of under like her breath a little bit. And I, I, it was just her and I leaving. So I, I assumed she was talking about me and I said, thank you. And she goes, yeah, what, what is that? And I told her what it is. And it's just, you know, it's one of those fragrances that it's really bright, uplifting, mood enhancing, but it has that iris in here that adds to the sophistication of it, makes it a little more worthy of being dressed up and you could wear this in more situations than not. So you can wear it casually and you could also wear it to a wedding or a party or just a work event, something along those lines. I wish it lasted a bit longer, but this is one that I'm not super concerned about spraying heavy because it's not that type of fragrance that is overwhelming in any way. So I love this stuff. Definitely check out this one if you guys are into the house of or into the gentleman line more specifically. Privé is a great scent. Boise, fantastic. EDP gets a ton of love. One of my favorite fragrances, but this one is up there as well. Givenchy Gentleman EDT. Now this one is getting uh, much harder to find. So all these other fragrances are gonna be linked down below. I will try to link this one if I can find it. This was kindly sent to me by a subscriber and I am so appreciative of that. So shout out to him. He knows who he is and I truly appreciate it because this stuff is awesome. It's one of my favorite fragrances now. I wore it to meet some friends out uh, just to grab a couple beers, a little bit of food and just see some friends that I hadn't seen in a while. And they were complimenting me. They were like, well, they also know I'm the cologne guy. And, uh, but still that they thought this smelled incredible. Scent I'm talking about is Carolina Herrera's CH Men Privé. And this, this has a beautiful rum note in here or boozy note. It's, there's a cheaper alternative. I don't even like spraying it guys, sorry. I mean, I, if I keep talking about this one, I, I probably won't spray it anymore because the juice level, oh man, it's so good in the air. The juice level is getting low and this is a 2014 formulation, which I believe that's when this fragrance came out. I get unbelievable longevity from this on clothes that will last for days. I know later batches, people had uh, less of a positive experience in terms of performance. Just know if you get in an older bottle and you can confirm that it's an actual legit bottle, great performance. So that's just my experience with it. Has this boozy, woody sweetness, little bit of spice, super masculine, uh, just kind of the perfect scent, perfect going out scent, wearing it out in the evening, but also has these little nuances to it that will lend itself to just a casual day out as well. So I don't know, I, I would probably reach for this anytime, anywhere. It's that versatile for me. There is a cheaper alternative to this that when I smell them side by side, I get much of the same effect. And that is Cremo's Bourbon and Oak. Now that scent is pretty cheap. I'm gonna link that down below as well, especially if I can't find this one. That is a great cheap alternative to this scent. If anyone else knows of any alternatives to CH Men Privé, please let me know in the comment section down below because this scent profile is incredible. Why they discontinued this, I will never know. I think they should lean into this one. Fantastic scent, <sighs> so good. I love it. CH Men Privé from Carolina Herrera. Finally, a cheapie worthy of this list. I wore it on Saturday and man, this one you don't see as often anymore. It used to pop up at the rack stores all the time. It is still pretty available. I'll link it again down below, but the scent I am talking about is Abercrombie & Fitch's First Instinct together. This is a fruity Invictus type scent. And it's just so well done. Um, you can tell from the juice level, I get a good amount of use out of this one. Uh, perfect sort of shower scent. Has this woody creaminess to it, that fruitiness up top. Uh, not overly sweet. It's not overly sweet, it's just fruity, musky, really airy. Uh, it has this synthetic undertone to it. And when I talk about synthetic being good and bad, this is the good synthetic. It has this fuzziness to it, like a dryer sheet. Um, has this synthetic fuzz, cashmere and type feel to it. So, and this projects like a beast. You can overspray this one for sure. It, the days that I normally wear this, I'm out and about. 
It's one of those ones that I like to wear out during the day. Sunny weather, just running errands. Easy reach for that. The First Instinct line, I'm a massive fan of. I love First Instinct. I love First Instinct Extreme. The only one that I haven't really spent a lot of time with is the blue. Solid scent overall. Pretty good longevity. Easy reach out of the shower. Just hanging in. It's super casual. This is a one that I would dress up particularly. But nonetheless, a really nice scent. Definitely one worth checking out while they're still available. Abercrombie and Fitch, first instinct together. That's all I have today, guys. Let me know in the comments section down below what your weekly rotation was. I always love hearing what you guys are wearing. If you like what you saw today, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, hit that bell notification so you are updated whenever I upload new content. But until then, have a fantastic week and I'll see you in the next video. <music>